Hi, I'm Michelle, Director of Educational Content and Programs at Shape America. And if you wanna learn more about health and physical education, you are going to love Toy Talk Tuesdays. And I'm not talking about these kinds of toys, I'm talking about Teachers of the Year. Shape America Teachers of the Year represent the best adapted physical education, dance, health and physical education teachers in the United States and you get to hear directly from them. So make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss an episode and be sure to comment below with the tips and resources you want to hear about most. If you're interested in learning about how to become a Shape America Teacher of the Year, just make sure to click the link right here below. Thanks so much for watching. and welcome to Toy Talk Tuesday. My name is Julie Frank and I'm the Executive Director at Spark and I'm delighted to serve as today's host. Toy Talk Tuesday is a bi-weekly series of interviews about topics in health and physical education with Shape America's National Teachers of the Year. Today's segment will focus on building relationships and connections with students during hybrid or remote learning experiences during this year's re-entry. I'm joined today by Will Potter, McGarrah Regan, and Adam Metcalf, and I will give them each an opportunity to briefly introduce themselves. Will, please start us off. Yeah, I'm Will Potter. I teach at the Serendipity School in Belmont, California, um, and I am the 2020 uh, National and Western District Elementary Teacher of the Year. Hi, uh, McGarrah Regan here. I am the 2020 Eastern District Elementary Teacher of the Year, and I teach at Manor Haven Elementary School in Port Washington, New York. And I am Adam Metcalf. I am the 2020 Midwest District Elementary PE Teacher of the Year, and I teach at the Avery Coonley School in Downers Grove, Illinois. As members of the Shape America Teacher of the Year community, you have a unique platform to share your expertise, talents, and leadership with the health and physical education teachers across the country. We are so proud of you and your accomplishments and appreciate you participating today. Now I'll turn the program over to Will to kick us off. Yeah, I'm Will Potter. I teach at the Serendipity School in Belmont, California, um, and I am the 2020 uh, National and Western District Elementary Teacher of the Year. Yeah, and I think it's really important to talk about this concept of uh, connection before content. Um, when you can reach a student on an individual level uh, before providing them with instruction, it's going to hit harder or it's going to hit and connect with them harder. The interesting thing about going back to school is we're all going to be wearing one of these is a mask. And when you're wearing a mask, it's really difficult to judge emotion and how you're feeling. And it's going to be really hard for your students to do that as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have... Uh, this little badge that I'm going to be wearing. It's got my smiling face on it so students can see uh, when I'm when I'm happy and when I can joke around. And then on the other side, it's got a more serious face uh, for when I'm being uh, serious and I want them to really pay attention to what I have to say. And the nice thing is it's just, it'll just flip flip depending on where I'm at in my teaching. And the other thing I'm going to do is to better gauge where my students are coming into class is I'm going to do what's called the emotional check-in or an emotional uh uh, check-in warm-up where I'll have a list of emojis, happy, sad, um, angry, um, afraid, anxious, and an exercise that goes next to that um, emoji. And when my students come to class, they will find their uh, socially distanced space and they'll perform that exercise based on their emotion. And I can, with a quick view during my attendance, know where my students are when they're coming in. Building relationships and connections, especially this year, we are, it's going to be very different for uh, not only the students, but uh, for ourselves and our colleagues. So uh, one thing that I would encourage all teachers uh, to try is something called a pre-mortem. It's more for like business practices and business projects. And it was um, invented or, or designed by a psychologist named Dr. Gary Klein. And it's basically a, a pre-mortem is the opposite 
hypothetical opposite of a postmortem. So when you're starting something new um, and, you know, trying something out, if things go wrong along the way uh, and it, the project fails, then you, you kind of look back and think about, okay, here's what went wrong. This is the opposite of that. So at the beginning of the year, and when I've done this with my elementary kids, uh, I, I try to do it on a day where things are going really well, or we do something fun and I got really good positive vibes going. And I point that out, like things are going really well right now. It's, uh, you know, but, uh, and then I kind of set up uh, and the better you are at selling this to your students, uh, the better it works. But Um, yeah, I say, hey, we're, we're about to start this new unit and uh, we have all these parameters that we have to fit within. And you can say, you know, I had a dream last night or uh, I have a crystal ball and I looked into the future. And in three weeks from now or whatever time you want to put on it, um, it was it was a disaster. It really uh, did not go well. Um, the kids are, you know, kids are uh, sniping at each other. They're angry. They don't want to come to PE. We're just not having any fun. I can't wait to go home at the end of the day. You really, you just paint this really bleak picture. And um, once you have the student's attention, um, you ask them, hey, what went wrong? What, what went wrong between now and three weeks from now? And you have a note taker and they, they jot this down on either a butcher paper or a dry erase board. And you make a list of any possible thing that could have gone wrong. And then after that list is made, you circle and you ask your kids to, to say, okay, what's most likely to happen? You circle those. And then you make a separate column and then you come up with solutions um, for those things that could possibly go wrong. Uh, you would be surprised at how well this actually works. And you can make a plan to revisit those solutions uh, along the way as you see fit. Um, I highly encourage you to try this out. It's called a pre-mortem, and I hope it goes well for you. Thanks, Adam. That sounds like an awesome idea too. Definitely gonna look into that. Um, so one of the ways that we're planning on starting off our year and helping our students get to know us, especially if we're hybrid or remote, um, is to create a, a little welcome back video. And we'll have all of the PE teachers on staff submit a little, you know, we'll compile it with iMovie or something like that. Just a, hey, welcome to Manor Haven Elementary School. We're your phys ed teachers for the year. And we're excited for trying new and awesome things. And then we'll definitely post some kind of a question for them. And in the past, we've usually started out our school year with a big bulletin board where the kids get to write down what they did this summer, what they what they learned, a new skill or a new activity. Um, but we're a little bit concerned that maybe the summers have not been as marvelous as they have been for our children in the past. So we might start out with a question more along the lines of, tell us what you're most excited about for phys ed this year. It's going to be different, but it's going to be awesome. We want to know what you are excited about doing. And by doing this, we're letting the kids know that we're truly interested in in them and, and what they want and what their needs are and that we're ready and willing to listen to them. And then we'll give them some options of how they can respond. Either they can respond through a video, we'll probably post our little welcome back video through Flipgrid and pose the question there, but we'll give them the choice to respond in another way, either through an email or through a Google form, because we know not all kids like to be on video, um, unlike some of us that kind of enjoy it. So we want to be sensitive to that and make sure that the kids have plenty of choices and that they're happy and that they feel welcome and loved and supported. So that's kind of what we're going to try to do to start off the year. On behalf of Shape America and the Shape America Teacher of the Year Partner Network, thank you, Will, Megara, and Adam for sharing these ready-to-use activities, tips, and tricks. Be sure to visit www.shapeamerica.org to check out our bi-weekly Toy Talk Tuesday segments for more great resources from our Shape America Teacher of the Year community. Oh, mm -hmm.